Um, we often get asked questions about ATS units, also known as AMF units. Now, ATS refers to automatic transfer switch. Right, this is our standard ATS unit. As you can see, I've just mocked it up so that you can try and understand how it works. I'm simulating here the national grid coming into your house. Um, the next thing you would have after the national grid would be your ATS unit and then the output from the ATS would be via your household consumer unit and then you'd obviously your household power. Now coming into the ATS is the national grid power and the generator power would be coming in when the generator is running and thirdly is the communication cable coming out which runs to the generator. In this case I'm just using a DHY6000 SE, uh, SELR in fact. The communications cable here has a 12 volt signal running down it from a battery charger within the ATS. Um, that voltage basically comes down the communication cable into the generator and keeps the generator battery charged up when it's not being used. So if it were several months, you know, between um, times when you have a power outage, at least you know when you need it, the generator battery won't be flat and it should start fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is simulate what happens when the mains fails. Simple way for me to do this is basically switch off the power on this plug. What will happen then is the mains available light will go out. The ATS will send a signal to the generator which starts the generator. The generator will start up. The ATS unit will see that the generator is available and then transfer the household demand onto the generator which will then light this switch. Quite simply you'll probably see that when the mains fails Yep, we're using this light as a sort of very graphic illustration of the power has gone out and you will see it come back on again. When I switch back on the mains, you'll see that the ATS will see the mains present again, switch over back to mains usage on the power, the light will go out for a moment, the generator will continue to run for probably 30 odd seconds and then the generator will switch off awaiting the next power failure. So, okay, here goes the demonstration, I shall switch off the mains basically simulating a power cut. So the light's gone out. Generator will start. We switch over to generator and the light's back on. Only a matter of seconds, really. I'll put the mains back on. ATS will see it. Change back to mains. And probably in about 30 seconds time, the generator will switch off. And that pretty much explains the, the system as, as to how it works. So as you could see, it went over, to the, uh, went over to the generator after the generator started. When the mains came back available, light went off just for a couple of seconds, back onto the mains, the generator switches off after cooling about 30 seconds later. And that pretty much explains an ATS or AMF unit, um, you know, automatic transfer switch, sometimes referred to as an automatic mains failure switch. Um, but that's pretty much how it works. Okay, thanks very much.